Good morning everyone, so it's our third and final day here in Malapascua. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to be doing a snorkeling tour today. I think it's 1,200 pesos, around um, $24 for the both of us, because it's a private tour, it's just me and Carol in a boat. I don't think they have group tours for this kind of snorkeling tour here, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. Right now we're just going to have breakfast and then yeah, we're going to be leaving in like an hour. This is the boat? Yeah. yeah. All right, private boat. So I'm here on Bounty Beach. We got on the boat now. I think, our, I think it's only us two, our little private boat. See, really beautiful here once again on this beach. And I think we're gonna have like three diving stops or something. Some like coral garden, a Japanese shipwreck. I'm not even sure what the other one is, but yeah, we'll find out soon. this place called? Uh, Tagetage. Tagetage. Tagetage? Yeah, for the Coral's Garden. Coral's Garden. That's of Coral's. Which is this one? Uh, Japanese shipwreck. Japanese shipwreck? Yeah. Alright, so now we got Japanese shipwreck. It's actually on this beach here, which is where me and Carol walked to on the first day on Malpasco. But we didn't know there was a shipwreck here, so yeah, I'm gonna check that out now. Yeah, so that was a pretty cool shipwreck. I think he said that um, it was a fishing boat that hit the rocks and then sunk. So yeah, that's what's been left over, but pretty cool. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah. And we are our own. Your mark. You have one too. I do? <laughs> what do you say? In Coron, the one that we went to, yeah. I think that one is better, right? Yeah, probably a little bit. Like, Yeah, this is more in pieces, right? All right, off to the next stop. All 
right, we've got our last little snorkel of the day, which is the coral garden. See all the corals here. <laughs> Ready, Carol? <laughs> back on Bounty Beach again. It was a pretty good tour, especially like the, the corals and stuff. There weren't really that many fish, maybe because there's just so many boats around this area. But yeah, the shipwreck was cool. And like I said, just a lot of corals. And it's nice if you haven't seen the whole island because he basically does, a, yeah, he rides around the entire island. So you get to see everything. Loads of little hidden beaches as well. So that's cool if anyone wants to explore those by feet. So yeah, I, th I think it's worth it. It's only three hours, nice little trip if you want to mix that with some some beaches. I think right now we're just going to spend uh, a few hours on this beach here and then we'll probably have lunch later on. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be the vlogger. Just kidding. So Malpasco is definitely a good place to come if you're just a person that just wants deserted beaches and wants to relax because as you can see there's so many spots just like this where there's just nobody at all. Really beautiful white sand. Ocean's really nice as well. So yeah, if you just want a few days of re relaxation, this so far looks like a really good island to come to. Going searching for a restaurant now to have lunch. Uh, there's quite a few on the beachfront, so we're gonna try and find one with a nice view. Malpasquale. Here we go, slack line. Slack line. Slack line round two. Aww. So we found our restaurant spot here. Super chill. And the price is a bit more expensive here. I'm gonna go for this Dane's vegan wrap, which is about five dollars. What's yours? This one, chicken. Chicken gyro, also around five dollars. But you get this view. So you can see the portion, really good, really big portion, right? Yeah. Yep, got our money's worth.
back at our resort now. So after lunch, we just went back to that beach and yeah, we just relaxed there for like, I don't know, three or four hours. Didn't film anything because I've been filming that beach so much already in today and yesterday's vlogs. So yeah, I didn't really see any need to film anymore there. And some guy actually recognized me on the beach, some guy from Ireland. So that was really cool. And he actually said that he saw me on the ferry in Boho. So yeah, it was the second time that he saw me and then this time he decided to say hello and we was talking for a while so yeah it's just cool to see a subscriber never happened here in Asia it's only actually ever happened once before in Houston Texas as well so yeah maybe maybe it's a sign that my videos are doing good I'm not sure but yeah if any of you guys ever see me in public or Carol yeah don't be scared to say hello because it's, it's pretty cool knowing that there's people out there or even around us seeing us and yeah, it was just a surprise because Malapasqua is so quiet, right? There isn't actually that many people here, so yeah, what a place for someone to recognize me. And right now, I decided that um, I'm going to keep filming today because we're, we're heading to a party. Apparently, every Saturday, there's like a big party here on a basketball court with all like the locals and I guess some foreigners. So yeah, me and Carol just decided that we're going to head there today since it's Saturday and check that out. Alright, so the rave was actually yesterday, it wasn't today, so yeah, we kind of failed with that. But we've come to a really cool spot here, and a really good like chill out place on the beach. You can see we're in the sponge, what is that, a sandbag? Yeah, sandbag. Yeah, we got the sandbags here. Everybody relaxing. And I got myself a uh, Philippines beer, Filipino beer, San Miguel Pilsen. Pretty good. What have you got, Carol? Pina Colada. Pina Colada. Nice. Alright, cheers, big ears. <laughs> so, Chris won't be able to close out the vlog. <laughs> He's asleep. Ah! Oh. Like, go up. Right. <laughs> Going to close the vlog out, guys. Really cool um, chill out spots at the beach. There's quite a few uh, restaurants with those like bean bags and stuff. I was literally almost sleeping there. And, um, and our time at Malapasqua is now up. It's been three pretty amazing days. Like I said before, this is just a great place to just relax. There isn't that much to do on the island itself, just lounge around on beaches, but there's loads of like diving stuff you can do, like uh, scuba diving as well, which we didn't do, but that's one of the main things to do here. And tomorrow we're gonna be heading to Bantayan, which is another island, it's kinda close to here. We're gonna go straight there, we just arranged that right now. So yeah, the next videos are gonna be in Bantayan. So yeah, stick around if you like to see more videos like that. Drop a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.